Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today are from the upcoming Holiday Spectacular concert with Orchestra Iowa, and it's a huge concert. I've got a lot of guests here in the studio. Uh, Tim Hankowicz is here. Yeah. And uh, and I, this is where we say that your special guests for Holiday Spectacular are the Iowa Women's Jazz Orchestra. So Tony Lefevre and Kelly Suela, guests, uh, the directors of that band, are with us too. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. And Steve Shanley. Steve, not a, mem- what, what not a member doing? of the not a member of the Iowa Women's Jazz Orchestra. What are, what are you doing here? No, Steve, of course, does uh, uh, has done many of the arrangements and is always involved big time with this concert every year. So, Steve, good to see you in the uh, Muni Band off season. Good to be here. Um, gosh, Tim, where do you want to start? Let's start with um, okay. So, two of my favorite things happening in this concert: orchestra and jazz band. Uh, so, th- so, but that's not why you programmed it. Well, well, sort of. I mean, a year ago, October, <clears throat> Orchestra Iowa had the great fortune of working with Wynton Marsalis and the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra. And I was in the audience for that, and I thought, you know, why don't we do something similar for Christmas? And that's how the whole idea behind this, this, um, this program came along. And then the heavy lifting of actually making it happen, and hence the troop of people in this room, <laughs> because it takes... A lot of pre-planning and a lot of just just the hard work just to get it to the stage. Uh, so Tony and Kelly, of course, the IWJO is you know very well known to uh, to our audience. What was it like getting that call from Tim saying, "Hey, do you want to be a part of the Christmas concert?" I think it was super exciting. We were thrilled to be part of this really great event that reaches so many people in the corridor community. So. Um, we're pumped to be collaborating in that way, and we knew that there would be a lot of moving parts, but uh, the more I practice this music and communicate with Tim and my band about it, just the more excited I'm getting, so it's very cool. Yeah, I think the fun part is we got the call, and we're, we're very happy that we got the invitation, so it's always fun for us to do stuff like this. Uh, yes, but there was probably a little bit of skepticism, <laughs> because the other reason why Steve Shanley's in the room, because the music that we're playing didn't exist. <laughs> and so we've got we've got basically a two hour show that we have to build from scratch. Okay, how are we gonna do that? So it may come as you know, it came a little bit as a surprise to me that there is not a lot of existing chart repertoire for orchestra and jazz big band. So Steve, that's where that's where you come in. So then you got the call from Tim saying, How do I make this work? Yeah, not really. It was more, (laughs) I pretty much get an annual call from Tim that says, so here's the weird thing we're going to try this year. And for my adult onset attention deficit disorder, this is great. Every year it's like a brand new challenge. And, uh, and I always love what ideas Tim comes up with, but especially excited with the Iowa Women's Jazz Orchestra to get to be uh, a part of that and working with them that that really no offense tim that was the the highlight for me this year so from an arranging perspective uh, steve uh, you know talk to me about uh, yeah, uh, about creating you know the pieces for this giant ensemble i always enjoy writing for symphony orchestra because you have all of those instruments at your disposal the strings and the woodwinds and the brass and the percussion and then usually for a pops concert you've got some drum set electric bass piano as well uh and this year it's like that but then doubled to the max because then you get all of these extra players on top of that as well so oftentimes as an arranger what you're tasked with doing is trying to make a certain sound with less than ideal resources so you're trying to make it sound like the london symphony orchestra playing star wars but with no string section or with reduced strings and this is sort of the opposite i didn't have any shortage of of colors or personnel or anything like that because there were just so many players and especially when we're when we're talking about the iowa women's jazz orchestra they're great players and they can basically do anything so it was uh, it was full-on uh, creative endeavor for me, which I loved. Tim, uh, how did you go about you know picking picking the program? 
for this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> because because I'm sure the first I'm sure the first step was let's see what's out there for orchestra and jazz band. Right. Oh crap! I, I can count Nothing. On, I can count on one hand. Yes, it's zero. Uh, and then I realized, okay, what have I done? And then I call up Steve and with like help. Um, and then uh, I also knew that this was going to be a very labor-intensive project. So when it comes to uh, arranging, it's for the layperson, unless you're a group of right three or four, musicians just don't get together and jam. I, I, we read music for a living, and, and that's what we went to school for. And arranging is about when do the strings play, when do the percussion play, when, when do the saxophones come in, what style, what tempo. All, the, all those sort of decisions are made and are written down. And I knew this was going to be um, a heavy lift. So the first question I went to Steve was, okay, what do we already have that can be adapted? Because in the last five, six, ten years, uh, we've been doing our own arranging, uh, a lot of it sort of in a big bandy style that sort of um, orchestras speak with a little bit of an accent when we try and do that. And so, okay, well, let's start with that. And then uh, Steve started uh, taking a look at it and reorchestrating it. And so we had some of the music kind of already in the can. And then, uh, by the way, we started planning on this in March. I mean, I mean, there was snow on the ground still, and we were talking about our next Christmas. And then I was talking to Kelly and Lori, and I said, okay, I, you know, what's out there? And they suggested a lot of uh, resources. Uh, E-Jazz Lines, for example, is a great resource, and some of, the, some of the, the charts that they've played and they like. And so we started assembling the beginnings of a program that we could later reorchestrate for all these forces. Uh, Kelly, orchestras are not generally known for their ability to swing. <laughs> uh, although I would argue that orchestra Iowa swings as good as any orchestra can. But uh, how do you, you know, how do you adapt what uh, you do as a player and also as an ensemble to fit in with uh, what's going to be going on? Yeah, I think you know. Anytime you have a large ensemble, that's your that's your goal is to make it sound unified and, and like we're all doing uh, what we should be doing at the right time. So um, I think it's just a matter we have a we have a rehearsal where we're going to all come together and um, hopefully by that point we all have our individual things worked out. Um, IWJO is going to do uh, their own rehearsal. Uh, I think it's this weekend and work some of our kinks out and then hopefully when we have our first rehearsal as the as the giant group we have less to deal with but it's it's going to be it's going to be unique I think you know to have a full ensemble within another full ensemble and we'll just have to kind of play it by ear pun intended and uh, <laughs> see see what challenges arise and the the good thing is, is we're all we're all capable um, I know everybody's a good musician and I, I think it'll be a fun time sorting those things out uh, well, and of course, we've talked this about this as two groups. It's not; it's three, because you've got a choir. Uh, you got the concert four. chorale too. Got the, yeah, yeah. The, the Cedar Rapids concert chorale on the. Discovery oh wait, I was supposed to well. write choir parts too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, yeah. I gotta go. Yeah, he's, he's running on a deadline. The thing is, I, as we sit here, I have no idea how we're gonna fit everybody on the stage. Um, <laughs> yeah, so come and take a look. It, it, it should be quite entertaining. Uh, Tony, does the many of the members of the IWJO are also pro teachers? Yes. I mean, every musician is a teacher in some way, but you know, most of you are mm -hmm. band directors. Yeah. Uh, and does that, uh, you know, does that that's got to make this kind of a project of this ma magnitude easier? I think it certainly does. I mean, we get to put into context the things that we love to teach every day. And I think it's super fun when we get to come together and sort of be what we be what we do. Um, it's really exciting for us. And I would say for this show in particular, for any audience members that are interested in coming, expect the unexpected. You'll uh, hear like a lot of a lot of really familiar tunes just done in cool, cool ways that you've never heard before. So we're excited to put that together. I'm so looking forward to the solos. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, it's really fun. Uh, if you really want to know the difference between a jazzer and a, and a, and a classical musician, you know, put, put changes in front of them and see what happens. <laughs> and so, you know, nothing strikes fear in the heart of a classical musician by then put, putting something in front of them and say, okay, improvise, you know. And so <laughs> to actually have musicians that do this, and I, I can't wait because everybody gets a little taste. 
Orchestra Iowa's Holiday Spectacular, Paramount Theater, December 15th through 17. 15th through 17. Yes. So Friday, yep. Saturday, Sunday. So yeah. get your tickets early. Hope to bring the whole family. Should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, and uh, tickets and more information at the website, which Orchestra is? OrchestraIowa.org. Also, artsiowa.com. All right. We'll see you there. Well, thank you all for being here. Cool. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. You can hear The Culture Crawl live on the radio many weekdays at 1030 or download the podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or using your favorite podcast app. Our video producer is Lydia Kilgore. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.